know I, I didn't do it by myself, so there's some people I want to recognize out in the audience. So if it's anybody from the prosecutor's office or judges, I want to thank y'all for the first six months. Any dope boys out there, I want to thank y'all too, especially if y'all the ones that cheated me and sold me them short packages and shit. Give it up for them crooked. <laughs> you know, I can't believe I became no dope addict because I used to be a baller, right? I used to flip, I used to sell kilos, right? But I'll sell a kilo and I'll be broke. And then I sell another kilo and I'll be broke. And I realized I had been selling that shit to myself. And shit. <laughs> it got so bad, I was giving myself credit. I'd be in the mirror like, come on, Don. You know we get paid on Tuesday. <laughs> That's up, man. That's crazy. You know, and what's crazy about being clean is people always calling me talking about is they boo smoking. And see, I don't know if they boo smoking, but if any of y'all got any questions about your boo might be smoking, let me give you some tips. This is how you can recognize it. If you think your boo smoking and he has a house that used to have a lot of really nice furniture and now all he got is pictures of furniture, he might be smoking and shit. If your boo used to be 6'4", 280, and now he 5'8", 125, he might be smoking and get him out your house because he's going to steal some shit. That's cool, man. I, you know, and I used to, I got so bad with me, I, I became homeless. And I wasn't real good at homeless because I couldn't panhandle. I only had two signs. One said, give to the UCECF, uh, right? And, and people used to go, you in college, the United Negro College Fund? No, I said, this is the useless Negro crack fund. They said, right? <laughs> My other sign said, if you don't give me some change when you come out the store, I'm going to rob your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Man, a lot of other stuff, jobs, IRA, anybody pay any taxes? Give them a round of applause. I didn't pay my taxes this year, I sent them a letter. My letter said, Uncle Sam and other interested parties, I did not send you any money because you still owe me 40 acres and a mule since 1865. You send me that my money, because that's about $3 million now, I send you your $27 and you can keep the fucking change. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, but uh, you know what? Um, any rap fans out there, give it up for my rap fans. I love rap, rap music. You know, um, the only things rap music get a bad rap. People say rap music make you commit crimes, right? But I don't believe that because if music made you commit crimes, it would have made people commit crimes a long time ago. Like, um, check out this song. Ladies and gentlemen, that is kidnapping. <laughs> How did I get here? This dumb bitch should not be singing. If she don't know how they got there, she should be calling 911 because that's breaking and entering. And this song, that, that part is cool, that part is cool, but this part right here, that is the leading cause of domestic violence in the black neighborhood and shit. And you know, they play this song all the time. I hate it, I hate this one. The Stalkers National Anthem right there. And, and you know what? If music make you commit crimes, please do not play this song for Catholic priests or teachers. Oh man, that's a good that's a, I didn't do it. Man, the economy fucked up, ain't it? People gotta change jobs and stuff. How many people had to change jobs? I wish everybody could do a smooth like Michael Jordan. He went from being the best basketball player in the world to a pretty good baseball player. Now he an owner. A lot of people can't switch jobs. A lot of people you probably wouldn't want to see switch jobs. Like you wouldn't want to see Oprah Winfrey or Monique on the swimsuit edition of Sports Illustrated. And shit. That'd be some bullshit. You, you probably wouldn't want to see Ben Roethlisberger or R. Kelly opening up a, a school for girls and shit. You'll never see um, my, my, my man uh, Al Green advertising grits and shit. But, but the commercial would be funny. I would be like, I, I bet you don't you never oh, see me and grits together. But it's alright with me. Cause no one, no one knows grits like I do. Give it up for Al Green. 
a lot of stuff working. I'm, I'm, I'm up doing a new diet plan. Yeah, anybody, you guys might want to try this. I'm now a, uh, uh, um, vaginitarian and shit. <laughs> yeah. Only thing about it, um, you gotta watch what you eat. <laughs> yeah, I wrote a book about it. It's called Donald Whitehead's Guide to Eating Coochie from a Clitorical Perspective. <laughs> And I got some tips in there for you guys because you got to watch what you eat. I got something I call the, the, the candle method, right? So when you bring your babe home, you put candles around the bathtub, right? And if the, the, the flame flays strong, um, you can go ahead and do your thing, right? If it starts melting a little bit, you probably need a proof of purchase seal for mass and get on this here. But if it melts all the way down, get her out because the bitch is nasty. <laughs> That's my stuff, man. I'm having a lot of fun. Y'all having a lot of fun tonight. Get it fun. Um, I want to do a couple more things real quick. I want to switch this up a little bit. I'm going to do some magic. Um, I'm going to need some audience participation for this. Um, anybody got a set of keys I can borrow? No, no, I don't smoke crack no more. You got keys? I, I love white people. Um, this, 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 um, this, this, you got your car key on here? Straight up, I'm gonna make some shit. Who got a car key? No, seriously, don't work. Wait a minute, I'm gonna make some shit disappear. And shit. Um, this your house key? Yeah. Where you stay at? You got a lot of electronic appliances? No, straight up, man. I'm gonna make some shit disappear. Where you stay at, man? No, you know, that, it's a beautiful country. I love this country. It's a beautiful country. You got Mary and Barry and shit, right? Mary and Barry, he uh, he smoked crack on TV. They voted for him again and shit. Bill Clinton had sex in the White House. America forgave him. And I came up here, the first damn thing I said is I smoked crack for 15 years and this asshole gave me his keys. Um, I thank y'all a lot. Uh, that's been my time. I'm Donald Whitehead. I gotta go, I got things to do, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on.